Hello and welcome back to another CAD clip. I am calling this uh, video Building Maker Magic and what I'm going to do here is bring in a parametric uh, massing family that I've created uh, in the conceptual massing environment that has parameters and bring one in and uh, skin it with the building maker tools then I'm going to go back and uh, change the parameters of that massing object and then um, reassess the building maker surfaces so watch what we can do here this is an example of you know what we can do with a loaded um, conceptual mass and this is the base mass family I'm gonna bring this in place it on a work plane and click and place that okay I'm gonna hit escape escape now when I click on this massing object I've got predetermined parameters set up inside of here which is you know the tower section in the base building so the width and height and depth and width and height and and dimensions of this particular massing object which I can change but I'm gonna leave it with the default sizes to start with I'm gonna start by using my building maker tools by going to massing and site here in the project and say model by face and I'll just say roof and then I can go in here and pick whatever roof type I want and just pick on here pick on here and say create the roof no big deal right we've seen this in the past so now I can say okay go back to massing and say face curtain system so I can go in here and pick whatever curtain system I want I'll go to an 8 by 12 grid instead of a 5 by 10 which is what this guy is and then all I have to do is you know pick my faces along here work my way around and I could even pick those back faces right through the object isn't that great and I say okay create the system so it creates that new curtain system a little bit different from this guy over here now the nice thing is with this new parametric conceptual massing is that I can now hit escape I can hover over this reading my status bar down there I'm gonna go tab until I see the mass object now I can pick on that mass object back to my parameters and say okay you know what I've decided to make some changes to the size of that I want the tower width to be you know 75 feet and I want the tower height to be you know 120 feet I want a great big tall tower and the depth of the tower I only want to be you know 50 feet so rectangular and taller then the base building width I'm gonna make it a lot bigger and say I want it to be you know 180 feet and the height of the base building I only want it to be you know 50 feet so completely different shape I hit OK and my massing object updates just like that okay so now what I have to do you can see that now my building maker um, surfaces are no longer synchronized with my massing object but what I can do now is I can hover over this roof it picks both of them and I can simply say update to face and Shazam it updates now I can hover over these um, surfaces that I created here the curtain systems and you might have to use your tab key to grab them and I can say update to face and update to face just like that so this massing object doesn't have a whole lot of detail in here but think of it you can also cut this up into floor systems and everything else and start to create schedules and takeoffs and sit there and play with your design and on the side have your schedule with all of your data all updating as well as all of the um, surface materials just like that and this is what I call building maker magic <music>